I've got the new Urban Decay Wild Greens eyeshadow palette to share with you guys today and I purchased mine in store at Ulta for $44 and I did do a demo which is the look that's on my eyes. If you are interested in seeing how these shadows performed and the look that is on my eyes you can hang tight and that'll be towards the end of the video. Um, but this palette here is a vegan formula with a hit of avocado oil is what it says on the box and there is a total of 12 eyeshadows that are 0 0.03 ounces per shade which is a little bit small in terms of the amount of product that you're getting per pan but there are 12 shades um, I like to kind of get like my happy medium for amount is kind of like 0 0.05 that I feel like is a, a decent amount of eyeshadow um, not that I go through them <laughs> that frequently it also says 24 months on the box and that this is made in South Korea and I don't recall um, an eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay being made in South Korea so I think they've got a new manufacturer which makes sense because I definitely feel like this is a new formulation from Urban Decay. This is a softer eyeshadow formulation definitely when we're used to a lot of high pigmentation and a lot of that duochrome and multi-chrome and stuff like that but um, I do feel like the shades in here they have that vibe like that uh, for that lighter formulation vibe. When I purchased this I kind of went into it thinking oh another Urban Decay palette that I'll probably just not use that much you know like not think anything of it but I really like the looks that come out of this palette I really like the one that I created today it feels very springtime and it's really easy to use I think that if people are like a little scared of greens and they also like their neutrals but would like a little pop of color this is where a palette like that would really fit in and I also appreciate I'm just holding up the box right now <laughs> I also really appreciate that they deviated from the naked range both the naked Naked packaging and the whole theming of the naked range. I'm, I personally, I'm over it. Like I'm happy that they're broadening their horizons from the naked range. So I really appreciate that about this palette. Um, both the packaging is different and the formula is different, and it's kind of a different kind of color combination that we're, what we're used to seeing from Urban Decay. So I like that about this. Little up close of the box in case you wanted to see the information. I will show that there. You can see it with the glare on the box but so the actual packaging mimics the box packaging in terms of the artwork that's on the front and then here is the back the closure is different it's got a cutout where the eye is and it is magnetized so each side will magnetize shut but you do kind of have to make sure that the eye is lined up I don't find it to be a problem and these fold back really nicely as well and then there is a um like when you fold it backwards you've got imagery on the back too and you've got little um, kind of like line art all around the shadows in the palette too which I think is quite pretty. Um, talking a little bit about the eyeshadow formulation the shimmer shades are definitely a little bit thicker and shinier than some in the past but they pick up really nicely on a brush. I've had some like there's a few in the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette where that it's got a thicker formula but they're really hard to pick up on a brush and then they get quite flaky when you do kind of work out that product. These ones don't do that. I think that they pick up really nicely on a brush. Um, the matte shadows kick up a little bit in the pan. They're quite soft but I tap my brush off which is something I typically do with any shadow when I'm doing my makeup. Um, I had like no fallout maybe a speck of fallout if that there was very very little fallout with the shades in here and the mattes also built up and blended really nice for me um, another thing in the past with Urban Decay some of their mattes can be quite thin and dusty and almost dry feeling where I get to the point where I can't blend them anymore I felt like these ones built and blended and the like the gradient is just really pretty on them they are soft colors there's nothing super revolutionary about the colors that are in this palette but I like the new formulation from Urban Decay I like where they're heading with it so hopefully you'll be able to tell in the swatches whether or not this is something that you're gonna like again I do feel like there's a place for this palette if you wanted to kind of dip your toes into green without being like boom green eyeshadow you know I use quite a few of the greens in my look today but it's not like you know for me <laughs> for me it's like very subtle green compared to some of the shadow that I wear so um, I think it's really pretty though it's a very springy look that I have on today and it was so easy to create and I'm really finding myself liking this palette a lot more than I thought that I would both in the packaging and also the formulation of the shadows and the looks that come out of here like you can pair the warms with the greens or you can get just a neutral look or you can get just a green look um, this highlight shade in here came in very handy for underneath the brow and in the inner corner for me and I can use that with both the
the neutral shades and the green shades but um, today I did mix a brown in with the greens but I can also you know just do a, a warm kind of neutral look or a green look so there's a bit of versatility in there um, do want to make mention that this kickback shade is the darkest matte in the palette and this darker green is a shimmery type of a shade so that darker brown was dark enough for me to deepen up the crease I'm pretty fair though so if you do like a um, deep crease color and you have a deeper skin tone than me that one might not quite cut it there is this deeper green but it's got a sheen to it so talking a little bit about the formulation there are three shades that have a similar formulation in terms of like um, a shimmer and that's chill high vibe and stash and stash is really I think stash is an old name that they had um, for shadows and past palettes that one really like rings a bell for me um, and then there are three like really shimmery kind of metallic shades which I've got one on the lid and that is the shade prickly which is that green so prickly fuzz and twist these three right here have got that high like foily shine and a little bit thicker formulation and then you have two kind of sequin shades which are matte formulation with sparkles in them but there are so few sparkles in these two shades so that's turmeric and kale um, very very minor and I don't feel like those translated on the eye at all and then for matte matte eyeshadows you've got earthside super greens lo-fi and kickback so that is the formulation in here so let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches So you can see just like that's one of those like higher shine foily shades. It's very pretty. It's got like a, a warm undertone to it with a green like duochrome in it. It's very pretty. And then these next guys. So you can see kind of right there just how soft um, some of those mats are. It's a very soft formula. These last four. So there are the swatches right there. Like in terms of the shadows, I didn't find a super dud in any of them. They are just softer shades though. They're softer like colors and tones as well. Like borderline, you know, pastel palette almost, but they, you know, you have some of those deeper colors, but it does give me pastel vibes for sure. So those are the swatches. I zoomed up close here so you guys can get a real kind of good um, visual of these shades. The shade is kind of blended into my skin, but it's a good blend out color with that brown for a neutral look. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys and you could see whether or not you would like something like this. Um, I, again, happy surprise. I really like the looks that come out of here. Granted, again, <laughs> softer for me, but I do really like the looks. Like, I love the look that's on my eyes today. I'm like, I need to walk outside and let it be like 70 degrees. It's not, but that's how it makes me feel. <laughs> so anyway, if you're interested in seeing the demo of these products and the look that's on my eyes right now, you can hang tight and we will get into it right now. I'm going to take a Sonia G Jumbo Concealer Brush into the CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. I have the shade 200 Fair Ivory and I'm going to use that to prime from the lash line to up underneath the brow. And just get a nice kind of even coating of that. And I angle it from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow because that's where I'm going to put the shadow. Then using this Chikahoto GSN 9 brush, I'm going to go into this matte shade called Kickback. And I'm going to put that guy through the crease, angling it up towards the brow. 
I'm actually going to kind of just take it right to the corner of my lash line there. I was a little worried that um, this wasn't going to be deep enough, but it is for me. Got to kind of look back here because I'm looking down just to make sure I got the angles right. That highlight on my face is just like popping. <laughs> it's a new one from a Menagerie. Then I'm going to take this BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A504 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Kale, which is another matte in the palette. I'm going to tap off the excess. These do kick up a little bit of powder. I'm going to blend out that um, brown that we put down. That was pretty easy. I'm going to go in with that GSN 9 just a little bit to make sure these are blended nice. Then using a mini booster from Sonia G, I'm going to go into the Super Greens shade, which is also a matte, and just kind of go further up here. Without picking up any more product, I'm going to take that um, BK Beauty brush again and just kind of buff through here. Then on the SMG29, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Chill. And it's the first one with some shimmer in it. I'm just going to pick up some of that and angle my brush like this so I don't go over the green too much. And put this underneath the brow. I think I grab a little more here. I'm going to get the product off before I swipe this. Yeah, just give this a blend. That is like super pretty. I'm gonna take that jumbo concealer brush again from Sonia G and pick up a little bit more of the concealer to not only kind of blend out the creasing there, but to get a little bit more on there so I can get those shimmers to really adhere and pop nicely. Just packing on a little bit more and then blending it. Then I'm going to take a Sonia G Builder 3 brush and I was kind of going back and forth between these two shimmer shades, but I want it to be brighter. So I'm going to take Prickly, which is this guy right here because it's the brighter of the two in terms of green. And I'm going to pack this right over the center of the lid and carry it above the crease. I'm just going to take it through that center there. Nice. I kind of like to step back a little bit and look forward just to see how much is going to show through my like hood. So I'm going to actually bring this up just a little bit further so I can see it even better. And then using that same brush, I'm going to go back into the shade Chill, and I'm going to use it on its side. And I'm going to pick that lighter shimmer up, and I'm going to put it right in front of that green shade and bring it up kind of the same height and overlap it and blend the two together in the center there. I have like maybe a speck, a single speck of fallout, hardly anything at all. And I really like the way that this particular color combination came out. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I've got one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liners. And this is in the shade Sunbaked. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and kind of bring it in a little bit in some places. In the corner. 
corner. So maybe a little bit warmer of a lip liner than I think I was gonna. I'm gonna wear a bright pink lip, so we'll see. Those new ABH pencils are so nice. Um, the lipstick that I got, I thought I'd keep it kind of with Urban Decay. I grabbed the WeHo Cream Lipstick, which is a kind of a bright pink. Yeah, it'll work. I mean, I probably should have chose uh, a little bit cooler tone lip liner, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to carry the lipstick right over that uh, lip liner. Yeah, it'll work. So there is the overall finished look using the new Urban Decay Wild Greens eyeshadow palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.